since we're not going to plug the inside of the model, we're now going to look at putting the inside streaks 6, 7 and 8. And of course the first thing we need is we need something, some device to measure the inside and establish the lines on the inside of the model. Um, so I went around looking to decide what I was going to buy and fortunately found that I had actually purchased the, the solution to this problem quite some time ago. This is the height gauge that um, David had developed and is shown in the book, and um, it's it's a pretty good good model. Um, and there are a few commercially available ones um, that you can consider. So I have mixed both what is commercially available and what David is suggesting here. In book volume three on page eighty six in Greg's bill, you can see he has a different jig again similar in principle and using um, a simple piece of wood with a pointer on the end which perhaps might actually be more accurate um, so you can figure out which one you need and um, and build one to suit and this is the unit I've developed um, I'll show it to you in detail but it fits over the model you go up and down I can switch it around if I want either side and it uses this height gauge that I bought some time ago. Um, and I can slide it up and down and I can also turn it um, if I want and then use the mark use a pencil to mark off the, the point. This will give you a better idea of the gauge. It has two knobs that allow it to move and you just tighten them when you want. There's a degree calculation on the inside and then this little gauge, this little screw tightens it wherever you want. The ruler also, I have figured out how I'm going to deal with the measurements on it, has multiple different measurements and I can flip it around um, it's all in in inches and in eighths so it's very useful for this particular build at quarter inch scale um, but clearly I'm gonna have to do some modification to the measurement um, to make it easy to work out what the actual measurements are on the inside of the hull. The key measurements are that the model is roughly seven inches wide and at the back seven inches high so that whatever you make must be at least more than seven inches um, in each direction. It's also good to be able to allow it to move sideways. So you should make it halfway between the edge of the boat and the edge of your building board, which allows you to move the piece up and down. I'm also going to modify this um, to build it similar to Greg's zone. So I actually will have both options available to me. The exact dimensions don't matter because you'll have to make it up based on the size of your model. And what really determines the height is the level um, of whatever the commercial uh, unit you get to fit into the piece that you make up. Of course, never being one uh, to be satisfied with one solution to the problem. <laughs> It was only a matter of time before I looked at another option. And this is Greg's version using the same basic technique, except we just put a little plate here. We have two bolts and um, this is used to place the marker. And of course, she'll just go over the boat, um, having taken the measurement off the plan and then you can get a fairly high um, accurate measurement. I've left this oversized. Um, in time I'll probably reduce the size of this down um, probably by three or four inches. And to change it we simply put an allen key in Slacken bolts and we can move it up or down wherever we want it.
So let's see how this works out in real life. We've laid the plan down, have the base on, and we're going to measure H4. Um, so we take the caliper and adjust it. And then we come onto the unit and line up the bottom of this with the edge of the pin. Because uh, my caliper doesn't line up perfectly with the jig, what I've done is I've transferred the mark to a pad or cardboard piece, which then makes it very easy to come and adjust the marker to the mark that I want. And now we simply need to go and transfer it onto the boat. So now we just come, put it on the model, go up to H4, and and put the mark. And we can do the same thing now on the other side. And back to H4. And of course it works the same way with the first um, unit I developed and you will switch it around and you get the same result. I'm not sure which one I prefer, um, I'll have to use them a bit both and I'm quite sure one will be, one will turn out to be much better than the other. That brings us to the end of perhaps one of my shortest videos and uh, in the next video we'll go and start lining up and installing Strix, the internal Strix 6, 7 and 8. See you in the next video.